fantastic, hasn't it, this season, seeing the number of players that your academy, with all the coaches you work with, have produced for the first team for other areas of the club and some that have even moved on. You must be really pleased. That must be the biggest reward for you. Oh, yeah, massively. Um, you know, this season, I think, as a club in general, has been positive, you know, from the first team, doing what they've done. Uh, I think it's a massive achievement to them. Um, and then for us, you know, you know, our key KPIs really are to produce players for the first team or, or to sell them to other clubs, you know, and we've, you know, we've done that this season uh, with Grant and Grant, uh, Grant Horton, Tom Chamberlain, um, obviously getting professional contracts, and both been with us since uh, under 10 and under 9, respectively. Um, and then obviously we sold two players as well, um, Aaron Zevin Harriet went to Coventry, uh, and one other in the younger age groups have uh, gone to a Premier League club, so, you know, from that standpoint, positive. Um, yeah, and obviously getting four, four, four debuts uh, this season, um, which has been really pleasing. Yeah, that is really pleasing, is it? You know, obviously Michael Duff, happy to encourage that youth. And, you know, we saw how the Leeson.com trophy was a, a competition that actually benefited so many of your players, the way it's actually supposed to work as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, you, know, we, we, you know, thanks again to the manager and the first team staff and, you know, even, even the director of football in terms of our <coughs> communication and our, our regular meetings, um, discussing players and giving them the opportunity, um, especially in those competitions, um, because that's what, you know, it's geared to do, you know, which has been fantastic, yeah. Talking of competitions, FA Youth Cup, what a fantastic run that was for the under-18s this oh, season. Amazing highlight, you know, of our under-18s campaign, I, I believe, you know, um, beating Portsmouth in absolute thriller, <laughs> you know, of a game. Um, and then, yeah, to, to lose um, on penalties to Arsenal, to take them so far in, in, in that competition, in, in that game, sorry, you know, was, was fantastic, you know, and, um, you know, really proud of the boys and the team uh, on that day. And I think... Even to add to that, you know, even more pleasing was the average age of that team. Uh, we were very young, uh, with, a, with a few under 16s in that team playing as well. You know, so yeah, positives. The, the under 16s themselves, they enjoyed a really fantastic cup run in, in the Fudlip Cup. Again, came very close to winning it against Exeter City, but you must have been very proud of them achieving that. Yeah, definitely. You know, it was it's a Fudlip Cup, cup competition which you know, historically we haven't done really too well in, uh, but this year, you know, we've got the first we have ever done uh, by getting to the final at under 16s. To lose to Exeter, um, you know, those who were at the game would have thought, you know, perhaps we probably should have won that game in the 90 minutes, but unfortunately we went to penalties um, and, and lost, you know. Um, but again, both well for that age group. Um, as a result, we signed nine of those boys um, out of 10 scholars. Um, we took one other, obviously external, you know, but ultimately it was a strong age group and, and those that didn't get offered were unlucky, really. And again, on, on cup competitions, the under 15s themselves, again, had their season cut short, unfortunately, in terms of what they could have achieved, but they also did very well in the National Fudlet Cup. Yeah, definitely. You know, we, in the beginning of the season, uh, we had the Premier League um, hosted the National uh, Fudlet competition again down here. Um, didn't quite make it to the, to the National f competition that end with the Premier League, but then we did get into the EFL National competition, which we then um, reached the knockout stages, uh, finishing top of our group. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, because of the the Covid situation, we couldn't fulfil the, fulfill the, um, the competition, but I fancied us to get to the final, you know, um, that, was, that was a good age group, yeah. And again, cup football was so important, isn't it, because half of the under 18s, so at the under 17s, the first year group and some of the under 16s involved in that were also involved in the Fred Lick Cup competition with some quite major opposition in tow as well. Yeah, definitely, it was a, a new competition uh, introduced this year, uh, a few of the non-league clubs were involved with it, uh, as well as a couple um, championship clubs as well. Um, and all our Premier League clubs, so yeah, we, we, we competed in that. Um, I think we, yeah, we were a top of the league um, come the COVID situation um, and were probably fancy to go on to the, to the final um, in that as well in 17. So yeah, it's positive. Um, yeah. Overall, the academy's reputation is, is growing every year, year on year. Um, and because of that, although we're sometimes restricted to having to play clubs, of course, at similar category level to us, but you're getting opportunities to play clubs much higher up the pyramid and visit places that are pretty exciting for your young players to go and play. Oh yeah, you know this this season um, has been fantastic for that experience. You know um, we played, we get a lot of invites from the captain and two clubs now um, to play festivals and um, just general matches. Um, obviously, a good recruitment tool for them to have a look at what's going about. But at the same time, you know for us, you know we use that opportunity for experience um, and and, uh, and and for the players to see Disneyland is what I call it um, in some of these clubs and these training grounds and what you know what they've got. You know it's fantastic to to go there and experience um, that environment and hopefully it will inspire one or two to, to want to you know, achieve and aspirations to, to achieve and get to that, that sort of level. And we are well aware of the impact that Covid's had on, on football. Um, 
in terms of the academy perspective across all the age groups, what sort of a, a effect is it going to have? Because there are many things that you do often every year that perhaps are going to be changed now. And of course, there's that concern perhaps that some will have over the return to playing and making sure that's all managed properly. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, you know, obviously the situation is what it is, and we've all had to go through it and, and sort of survive. And you know, um, but ultimately, yeah, it's affected us in a way that you know, little things like a tours. You know, we've had to delay those. Um, it's a tradition for us to go away every year and go and compete in some sort of uh, festival or tournament or or go abroad and just just experience what you know other clubs do in, in abroad. You know, um, so we missed out on that this year, um, as well as obviously the boys' lack of training. Um, we've done our bit to try and top them up and keep them doing the, the stuff at home, um, but gave them a little break, um, and now we're getting closer to the return of the season. Um, obviously, we'll start to, to get things out there again to get them to get them ready for the season. Um, you know, for us, we're probably hoping to start back in August, um, early August. Um, obviously, we're under the guidance of the Premier League and the EFL. Um, obviously, they've got their, the guidelines they've got to put in place, uh, all the procedures we've got to put in place for you know, health and safety reasons, really. Um, which should be a fun time to, to manage. Obviously, the first team went through that with the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, watching and seeing what, that, what went on there, you know, it was, it was some serious um, protocols. So, um, it'd be interesting how it will affect us in the academy. Clear opportunities, of course, for your young players, but also for your coaching staff and, and the physios and the various staff that help make the academy work. And, of course, we also know right now that there's an application out for the head of academy coaching to come and join the group as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, for, in terms of the staff, you know, obviously I want to thank everybody, you know, involved in the club, you know, who, who everybody has an input in terms of giving these boys, you know, an opportunity to fulfil their dreams, you know. Um, and, you know, in terms of staff from the coaching team to the to the recruitment team, you know, um, to the admin team, you know, everybody plays a part um, in creating a good environment and, and that's what we're, we're definitely fond of and proud of um, our environment at, at, in the academy. Um, yeah, in terms of the head of coaching role, yeah, the job adverts out there, you know, um, looking forward to the new addition uh, as and when that person is appointed, you know, to come into a, a team of motivated, um, inspired, um, you know, team of, you know, coaches really um, that want to better themselves. Um, the academy really yeah um, on that you know in terms of us and you know what we're about I guess you know the future is bright uh, you know we, we, we continue to continue to evolve as an academy um, and ultimately we, we all strive to be the best that we can be and we'll continue to do that